see if anybody tunes in. Floor stall. This is a weird angle. I'm nice using the tripod and my old phone for this. Usually I'm on my laptop, but as I mentioned, wife's out of town and she took my laptop with her. So I'm stuck using my old phone because my new one, for whatever reason, doesn't fit in the tripod holder. They didn't didn't count on using the uh, the big phones apparently. Um, but anyway, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the uh, the Big Larry community beads. Uh, one thing that I really like with these, and if you notice, I strung these up differently. Uh, I had I have a picture of them, I think, on my phone. Dang it! Nope, it's on my iPad. Uh, hey, Chris, how's it going? Uh, so I had these strung up yesterday, where both sides were rounded. Hey, Corey, what's up? So I had them both on this side, and I had different color uh, bumpers on there. And during this, during my unboxing stream yesterday, uh, Justin suggested I flip them. So I have the round side up, and then the flat side up. Uh, very much like I have on my flip sides. And I had the, these came with uh, 275 strung up on there. And I'm not a huge fan of 275. It's really, really uh, thin. And if you can't tell, I have fairly large hands. Um, I'm a pretty big guy. I'm 6'5". And extra large gloves don't go down long enough. Um, and I play four and a half inches uh, string length. And um, so I, I didn't like the 275. It just it went through this little little slit. Not sure if you can see it. But I have little spaces in my fingers because my fingers kind of curl in. Uh, so it doesn't like doing just this little repeater works well with that. But if I try to do bead rolls or anything else, it just it slips and it doesn't doesn't grip. I just I'm not a huge fan of 275 on certain beads. Now certain beads it does work really well. Um, but for for this one, particularly for me, it doesn't work. So this morning, uh, before my two oldest went with my dad for a little adventure, um, I pulled out the paracord that came with with the set and showed my kids and says, "Hey, which color? Which one should I string this up with?" And my uh, three-year-old wanted this one, which on the stream yesterday I said I was going to definitely have to use. So. Three-year-old chose this. My uh, seven-year-old chose the bumpers, and I gotta say it looks really nice. I really like this combination. Um, now I had a plan of what I was gonna talk about today, but I soon as I turned the camera on and went live, just all that <laughs> went out the window. Um, but I really like the set. It's really nice. Um, I really like the. Uh, as I mentioned yesterday in my stream, if you saw that or on replay. One thing I commented on was not having that bead re the recess in here to put the knot, but now that now that I've played with these for a day, it uh, it really doesn't bother me at all. Um, one thing I really like is with this, you put the knot on the end, and you can still get your bumpers on and off. If you want to restring these, uh, you can definitely restring them. You can even use the same paracord. Uh, I have a huge hoard of paracord in my office, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. If if there's a piece of paracord that's still usable, I hold on to it and I'll use it on a different set or I'll use it later. Um, but one thing I really like with this is I can simply move that, snip the tip, and uh, and just do a flat burn on the end, or untie it and then flat burn it, so I can use the same same thing twice and saves on paracord because you know I don't have a whole lot of this awesome multicolor stuff right here I think this is my only strand maybe one that's similar in another set but um, that part I really like and another thing I noticed is if I remember correctly from yesterday 
the the hole in here is uh, three millimeter and 550 cord with you know if you don't burn it so it has a little flat end it just comes with a little point fits in here very nicely 550 is very easy to to string up in here it just takes a little bit of patience uh, but you don't have to do any kind of special uh, cutting at an angle or putting tape on there to get a little flat angle just kind of burn it point it through a, a little edge and then you, it will fit right in and you can see here it spins fairly easily without any kind of assistance or anything like that. Um, so I restrung these this morning with the 550 and I, I'm really digging the 550. Uh, I'm waiting to get some 425. Uh, I think this set would be phenomenal with 425 on there. Um, and I just came to that conclusion after playing with the flip sides is I like 425. And thankfully Tyrone sent me some some more and uh, Sarah sending me some as well. So I'm going to have to uh, give that a shot. But um, this is a, is a great set. Uh, I definitely, I've played with these and the flip sides and uh, like Winter Twitter said yesterday, but mostly these and the flip sides because they're still my newest sets. And they play phenomenally. I mean, one thing I like about this without the recesses, you can flip them upside down. You can do a lot of stuff that the other sets won't do if they have the recess. And if you like the, the dome top, great. Play both up or go opposites or do flat side, whatever. It's pretty uh, customizable that way. Uh, I really like the the overall shape. I haven't played these without the bumper yet. Um, but I, I've noticed with the bumper, at least with the way I play, there's not a lot of clacking, which is awesome for when I have to do conference calls or remote trainings for work when I'm working out of my home office. Um, so that would definitely help come in handy. I can flip these in my uh, party already set and not have too much clacking on beat on beat. I mean, if you look at this, it hits here. It's hitting bumpers, unless you go you know, like that. But for the most part, the way, you, the way I hold it, it's not clacking a whole lot, which is really cool. And luckily for me, um, I, if you hadn't figured it out, I'm a huge fan of uh, monkey finger stuff and happen to have a nice little stash of bumpers also. I think my oldest counter this morning, I have nine or ten just black bumpers from various sets and then the whole pack. Um, so with these, I'm getting dang good at those floor stalls. So if you look at the, uh, the bumpers here, I mean, the great thing with the, the, the Natty Titanium is you can customize this set very well as far as the aesthetically, however you want to look aesthetically pleasing. Uh, like Corey Hat said, lettuce and tomato bumpers. Um, you can do black. I know Ray offers some glow in the dark, so if you have, he also has some glow in the dark 550, you can get some of that as well, or uh, glow in the dark 275. How's it going, Claudia? Uh, you can do, so glow in the dark would be awesome with this. Um, I know with the bumpers on the glow in the dark, they have green and blue, so you can kind of string them up opposite like I have here, put in some glow in the dark uh, paracord. The customization as far as looks on this set is, is definitely available. It is, it's a great set. Uh, there's still some available from your turn top shop. Highly recommend picking some of these up. They're very fun to sling. Uh, I like the bumpers. I like the customization you can do with these. They're just beautiful. Um, so who all has a set of these? Or has a set coming? Of the four people that are watching. Bueller. Bueller. Am I aging myself here by doing that reference? No, there's only two. I must have lost somebody. <laughs> I play... Um, I used to do 4.75 inches, or 4 and 3 quarters inch, but I've took that down to uh, four and a half. And I'm not sure if you saw uh, one of my posts, but I, I took a picture the first time I met up with Sharon uh, when I was in Jersey. And Sharon is, is pretty short compared, I mean, everyone's short compared to me, I'm 6'5". But, um, I mean, her hand goes to like here. I can't remember, it's, her hand is really small. My hand on their size, other side, is really big. Um, and to give you an idea, 
Let's see. That's something he's for reference that most people would know. Nothing here. Dang it. Um, but my my hands, so extra large gloves. The finger bottom of the finger portion goes to like right here. I can't. They they don't really fit my hands very well. Um, so I have really big hands, really long fingers. So I know most people. Claudia said the usually about four four inches or so short game uh, with the size of my mitts. It's four and a half is is kind of pushing anything shorter than this, and I might have a hard time playing those anywhere around my hands. Hey, Joel, how's it going today? Um, so I'm still trying to find something here that will give you an idea of how large my hands are. Let's see. So, if you haven't figured out, I have three boys. So I found this standard Nerf dart. So if I put that here, just to bottle my hand, it, I mean, I mean that's, that's how large my hands are. Uh, so yeah, anything shorter than 4.4.5 inches would be challenging to wrap them around my hands decently so I can still grab them. Um, but anyway, if you don't have a set of these, the Begler Community Beads, they are, they're fantastic. Yes, you can hop on. How the heck do I do that? Let's see, let's figure it out. Let's see if I can figure this out. No, wrong button. Go away. Dang it. Jeremy, I want to show you oh. how short this one is. It's I have it set up on hex nuts. It was initially three inches, like a tiny bit over three inches, but now it's I think it's more like four because I got rid of the extra hex nut. I was running three hex nuts, so now there's two. So it's a little bit longer. But um, let me see. Let me see if we can show you. <laughs> So this is what I've been doing with it. It's kind of like the style that I already do, just shorter. Yeah, I'm I'm not that fast or coordinated. <laughs> but since I actually play long game, right? You know, I play like seven and a half is my typical, my normal length. It wasn't that hard for me to get used to trying short. And I kind of wanted to try it just to see if I could if I could do it. And I've gotten to the point where I can also do uh, two hand. So I need to show you that. But I don't have it set up on a tripod right now. So I'll, just, I'll make like a clip of that and then I'll show that to you. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm able to do it. I'm able to do um, the normal two hand stuff that I do. It just looks really crazy because it's because it's so short. But when I started, I did I did start slinging short game in the very beginning. It's just uh, with time I felt more comfortable with it being longer. But I don't see why you can't mix it up, do long and short at the same time. I just don't do the typical stuff that short gamers do. Maybe because it's too short to do the wrap around as easy. Like I can do that, but then I have to do it over the uh, the ring finger or the the pinky finger so I was able to utilize let me see let's see if I can show you this other one trick that I that I've been able to do <clears throat> let's see there that was hard to see but I'm going around the index finger and then from there around the thumb and then I catch it so nice yeah, sometimes I, sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. Short game is fun. It's faster. Definitely. I, I thoroughly enjoy it. As I mentioned, I don't have the greatest dexterity in my hands. Um, now I can't do all the other crazy things that I do. 
involving like the the twisting of other fingers and stuff. I'm only able to do like I can weave. I can do weaves. I can do aerials. But it's like you can't even tell that it's an aerial because they're so small. It's so short. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. So much love to you. And my brother kinda inspired me too because uh He's been he's been rocking short game. I got him into uh, slinging. I didn't think I was going to be able to because he never wants to get into any of the skill toy stuff that I do. I mean, he sometimes will dabble in it, but not that he's serious enough to do it. He's more of a video gamer. That's that's what he does. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with video games now. Yeah, I, I I'm not as good at video games like he is. That boy can like beat a game in a day he's he's just too skilled for stuff like that he's got good hand to eye coordination but i want him to be more active using his hands and being skillful and i was amazed that i actually got him to to get into it and then being me that i'm super long game and he's my brother he's like this is the, this is the length i like and he showed me how he figured it out what he liked and it was a fist for him and it was a little bit wow. longer, and so now mine is also a little bit longer, so I probably am rocking the same length that he's rocking. Yeah, oh, same fine. thing. See, we all have different yeah. proportions of hands, that if I'm rocking a seven and a half, it might sound super long for me, but everyone forgets like the size of hands and your length of fingers, that all makes a difference to the length of a person. I think that Mitch is actually running the same length as me even if it's not the same physically it's probably the same you know what i mean like uh proportionally <laughs> but uh yeah much love to the short gamers you're rocking it short uh when i first started i tried playing long game and i just i couldn't i couldn't do it you couldn't and i i couldn't do it. it was just it was very frustrating after months and months of doing it I, uh, I'm not going to pick up any more sets. And then I started looking around and I stumbled upon uh, Tyrone's video. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think I saw his in the very beginning, too, when I first started slinging. His, his were the ones that were around. Like, it was really hard to find any clips at that time when I got into it that he, I did find his. And he was rocking short game. So I wanted to learn those techniques, like the, the basic, I forget what you call that, around the world or whatever. And I did learn how to do all that stuff. But then I extended my length. And then I got into doing other more creative things that I was just making up. But everybody got to start somewhere. And then when you find where you like it, either you lengthen your cord or you shorten it, or you can even do both. And I think Tyrone has been known to link I think he's been lengthening his cord lately I've noticed and he's good at that too so he, if he's like versatile with short and long and his style carries through I can understand it because I notice that it's happening to me too <laughs> and it's funny because the style remains the length can be different and shorter but the style is still there it's I guess that's what makes it so uh It makes it a, a skill toy that is very personalized, I guess is the best way to say it, to that person's individual style. Even length can change. You're still going to have your same style. Exactly. That's one thing that's really intriguing as well. Is you, I mean, you can see everyone who streams, if they play the long game, they all have their own style. Yeah. Yeah, they're doing the tricks, but they're still doing it a different way that you can tell Mitch or even yeah, you can you can identify who that person is by the way they're moving. Yeah, their movements. It's like you have your own uh, signature moves. Maybe they're not exactly moves, but it's how you move them that makes it your very own. Like you can tell that's so and so. You can tell that's Mitch. You know, you can just tell. It's funny. You can't really do that with other skill toys. I've noticed because I've played with so many different ones. You can see the style carries through with that person, but it's still a yo-yo. You know what I mean? Like all those tricks, 
regardless of how a person's doing them, they're still the same yo-yo tricks. It's hard to keep your style definite. And with beggary, it's different. It's like so personalized that you can see that sure. difference. Very true. Well, this was cool. I wanted to jump on your stream real quick, but I don't want to hog up your time, so. <laughs> I don't know. But I wish I had a laptop. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy is telling me now there's totally different styles that are distinct on yo-yo. It is true. I'm, I'm not hating on, on that. I did the yo-yo a little bit. I just wasn't able to uh, break away because I did throw down, like straight throw down style. Because I started in my yo-yo uh, adventure or my yo-yo journey, started with an off-string yo-yo that was called a yogo. And it didn't have, it was a very hard to find. It's a rare toy that Milton Bradley made. And it, I didn't know how to break away because that was what I had like when I was 14. That was one of my first yo-yos besides a normal up and down throw, Duncan, you know, that I had that I could actually like do tricks with. Well, it was, it, that was a certain, I have to show you because you can't, I, I can try to explain it but it doesn't do it justice. But I don't even start off breakaway on that yo-yo either. It was more of a swing type thing. So it was never something that I could do. And, and okay, my point of that is, you know how you have that yo-yo tilt? When you break away, it tilts towards you. If you go straight down, it tilts away. And I'm used to that, that uh, control of it being away from you instead of towards you. Like it's some kind of a, of a tilt I can't explain that only yo-yo that you go through with only yo-yo because you're balancing your yo-yo on your string. You know what I mean? So if you tilt, you tilt one hand forward, it makes the yo-yo tilt a certain way. When I would break away, it would tilt it the opposite. It would be like if I was uh, trying to fly a plane and you pull up as opposed to pulling down to go upward and stuff, you know, it was like, it was opposite and it didn't, it never clicked into my brain. <laughs> so I could never do the breakaways. I was always just down throwing everything. And at that time I got a lot of it, not so much hate, but criticism for doing it that way. Like they learn how to break away. I can't break away. Like I, I came in contact with a lot of uh, elite elitists in the yo-yo community but that was back in early 2000, 2008. Like during that time when everybody was a little bit more, uh, not as welcoming to new players. Like they're like, you're still doing it wrong kind of thing. <laughs> I don't know how they are now. They're probably a lot more cooler now, but I haven't been in the yoga my, community for a while, so. I'm just starting to get into it. I can, I can do it fine. Yeah, it depends on who, who, what generation is, is involved too. Because like, I guess the generation when I started getting into Astro Jacks, when I started doing yo-yo, was a very different one <laughs> than the one today. And now it's like uh, people are a lot more positive, I find. So it could, it could be a lot nicer community i don't know i haven't really been into any of the i try to get into the dally uh groups but they won't accept me <laughs> i don't know if it's because they know who i am they've seen me around <laughs> they know that i play with all kinds of things and i don't take anything serious and and dally players tend to be very very serious they don't like they don't for example they don't like this <laughs> this is a toy to them and that's not worthy, you know what I mean? So if they saw me clip, if they saw any of my clips using that, I can understand why they won't accept me in their group. <laughs> but it's all, it's, it's all good. Uh, Another expensive hobby. Yeah, yeah, it is. And then, and then I hear tell that they kind of are more, more harder on other players if they don't get the actual blade. 
you know, mm. and if they're using a trainer, they don't get the same kind of respect. So I don't know. I mean, that's, that's always a thing, but we're just trying to uh, have fun with stuff and not take everything too serious because the world is too damn serious. You know what I mean? Oh, exactly. video bomb. Who do you got? The, the little ones home with me. And oh, adorable. Please. I got, I got my little with me right now. <laughs> Over there on the floor. Oh. <laughs> How adorable. Look, little bit. Look, it's a baby. Look, it's a little bitty baby. Do you like the baby? <laughs> She's a baby like you, little baby. Girl or boy? Boy. Oh, he's cute. You want to play with him? No? Yes? I don't know how she is with kids, actually. I've never... I've never exposed her to little kids, but she wants to be friends with everyone because she just doesn't, she never has any friends to play with. I work a lot. I'm hardly at the home. So yeah, she kind of misses me when I'm not around. And when, I'm, when I'm here, this is what she does. I haven't been exercising as, as I should be. <laughs> She's made me lazy. <laughs> I can't blame you totally, but she wants the love. And she treats me like a human pillow. So it's kind of hard for me to get up and move around and do things. And I have a lot of stuff I need to do little. But she don't know that. She just wants love. <laughs> My dog, too. When I come home, if I sit on the couch, when I've been gone for a week, I'll sit on the couch downstairs and she'll jump up on the couch and put her head on the but Aww. I don't have to talk. <laughs> Well, I'm gonna hop a, off real a, quick. Uh, it was fun streaming with you. Definitely have to do this uh, more often. This is doing for this kind of um, conversation. Yeah. After. Hopefully, I'll have a faster internet that there won't be a lag. And uh, I'm, I'm gonna see about getting that sorted pretty soon. Because AT and T was calling me like this whole time that I was streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I think they they knew that I I needed a faster internet they, i think they're converting all the neighborhood actually so they're starting to just call everybody and bug them until they get like the whole switch made and we're gonna all have fiber optic and do away with dsl which is good it's it's faster it's more reliable i've noticed that uh, the download time is crazy fast when it took me five hours to upload a video to youtube that i would edit and it might, like, I want to say it was a 15 minute video. It would take five hours. I went to my mom's house. She lives down the block. She's got that fast internet fiber optic. Three minutes, dude. Yeah. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the switch. <laughs> I should just call them back and get it done. Yeah, I want, I want fiber so bad. Working from home when I don't travel, I need that. I don't even offer. My area sucks. Well, out there, I'm sure that y'all have the fast stuff for a while now. Yeah. It's, it's That's all y'all have out there, right? It's fiber optic? Uh, down in Provo, which is how they like they do, but they have those kind of... Like, uh, like, as an office there, a lot of tech firms are in... And I refuse to move. It's yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm gonna hop off, and you have a good weekend. We'll see you soon. And you was keep on rocking that short game, and I love those uh, B H Louis. By the way, good job for Jeremy and Justin and the whole community or the whole group, actually, for putting that together. That looks really wild. If you don't have I, um, they are a lot. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to get me a set. I want to be a part of the community and have the actual community bead, man. That's like the, the bandana of the group, as they say. <laughs>
very versatile set, very fun to play, and those uh, that'll be. There's a very few sets of characters that carry with me all the time. I kind of wrote. Yeah. Uh, that, I have at least three. Well, that's cool. Okay, we'll see you. All right, have a good week. Later. That's fun. All right, and I think I'm getting close to my time frame as well. Hmm. Let's see, do a little refresh and see what's going on here. Let's see what my time is. Yeah, I'm at, I'm at 30 minutes. So. I'm going to go take care of this little one. We're going to have some fun and enjoy the time together. And everybody have fun uh, this weekend. And since it's just us two, I'll be able to hopefully watch some of y'all stream. Anyway, y'all have a good weekend, and I will catch you later.